Hey there! Before we get started with the video, please do give a like and subscribe if you like the content. That would really help me out on this channel. I also stream every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 5 p.m. Central European time on twitch.tv slash funwithfondue. Okay, let's get started with the video then. So apparently Steven Crowder is now considering running for office, which... Let that sink in. <laughs> Who dis? Uh, Steven Crowder is one of the biggest YouTube conservatives, I would say. Like, almost 5.2 million um, subscribers. He gets, like, hundreds of thousands of views on his videos. Uh, one of his latest things was basically laughing at Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez with his uh with his people about like huh, she she felt like she was gonna die dur, dur, dur. man she's dumb <laughs> and it's like why are you a piece of shit and then he made this weird joke on joke because his jokes on twitter.com aren't like really really bad because uh, AOC also came out as being a sexual abuse survivor and then he's like allegedly AOC's abuser was found and it's like what the fuck is the joke? There's no joke here! What is the joke? What, like, th this doesn't make sense, like, please! Can someone tell me what the fuck is the joke? Like, Vosh is saying, was this joke generated by an algorithm? Because it really feels like it's a joke generated by an algorithm. Because it's like, what's the joke? <laughs> anyway, he is considering to run for office. Also, he's a huge theater kid he loves dressing up which we will get to in a bit not that he likes dressing up that's not the problem the, the choices that he's made in the past about his dressing up we're gonna get into that to say <laughs> do you think you have to actually guess do you think that in like 20 30 years from now we'll be looking back at this time where do you think we'll be saying remember when we let uh, boys beat up girls in sports and uh, we let people we said there were 52 genders boy that was a weird phase or what oh He's referring to trans people being in sports as boys beating girls in sports, which is... So Steven Crowder here is saying that letting men, boys beat up girls is, you know, we let trans people, trans men into women's sports. It's always funny how um, conservatives and transphobes like him never talk about trans men. They always, always hyper fixate on trans women. Fun little point consider um but of course he has no idea of like how trans people in sport in sports works and it's this there's always this weird con concern about trans people in sports it's weird and then the 52 genders thing it's like Durr, attack helicopter der like literally one joke literally the same fucking joke again steven crowder doesn't understand how gender works in the biological or social construct sense so he wants to run for president uh and hey, so after Donald Trump, like, anything is possible. Unfortunately, <laughs> anyone can be president. Like, look, Donald Trump did it. Anyone can be president. Literally anyone can be president. Your racist uncle literally could be the president. Literally. Like, literally. Or do you think we'll just actually continue on down that trail? And the idea, because it's because it is, it flies in the face of biology. It doesn't. Actually, it doesn't. Um, gender... Even from a biological uh, sense, I'll look at that in a sec. Even from a biological standpoint, gender is very, very complicated. It is not a, a strict binary. It is not a strict binary. Um, it, it's not a strict binary. Like, it's very complicated. Way more complicated than we've been taught in school. And unfortunately for people like him... Um, they their concept of gender and sex um is they left it at grade school level and they've never gone back to it. they're like i was told in grade school it's like this so it must be like that and it's like no the world is a bit more complicated than that and science yeah. do you think there'll be a correction on that i think in 20 years i'll be like yeah, it's so crazy how that world ended eight years ago <laughs> <laughs> So I can't believe we're all still oh, look, here. Oh, a roach! <laughs> They're still around. I mean, comedy. I love. I love conservative comedy. This is like this is it. They're like, <laughs> world ended. 
A roach. <laughs> like, wow. I mean, kings of comedy over here. Twinkies. <laughs> I, I am hopeful, but I think we're at kind of a tipping point with that. It's going to go one way or the other where it will either correct back or we're just going to continue. Correct back, says the white, most likely cis, heteronormative person who has no idea what they're talking about. They're basically saying, like, I don't want to see the weird people. The weird people. I just don't want the trans people to exist. And then everything is back to normal again. And it's like, no, they, the trans people have existed for a long, long time. Just because you didn't see them around doesn't, or you didn't see them represented anywhere in media doesn't mean they didn't exist. Like, you should look at cultures outside of the U.S. or Western cultures. Because trans people have existed in, you know, other cultures for a very, very long time. It's not a new thing continue on and i think we're kind of at that point where if people can tie that kind of a social kind of cultural fabric to donald trump and an outmoded conservatism if they can do that effectively hating against those then yes they can keep that and the trajectory will continue but if we can have some people come mm -hmm. in and espouse conservative values and not get tarred and feathered by they being will be tarred and a feathered. bigot well for being a bigot right yeah uh, but they i don't have think to be a trump little bit wait i need to what what the fuck was he saying by they being will be tarred and a feathered. bigot well for being a bigot, right? Yeah, uh, but I don't think Donald a Trump is bit... a bigot. I don't think so. <laughs> uh, Donald Trump isn't a bigot. What are you talking about? I don't know what you mean. Donald Trump isn't a bigot. Okay. The guy who said Mexicans are rapists and criminals, he's not. He's not. So either, but he gave, he he made it easy for them. Like I don't you think said, big, don't I think make it, it easy. To, he I think it, it easy. needs to be someone who can explain his position. Yes. In other words, also, I think that almost all of Donald Trump's positions were reasonable. He just didn't explain them in a reasonable. Way. Donald Trump's positions were reasonable. Putting children in cages. He didn't start that. I know. Uh, putting children in cages at the border uh, illegally. Uh, reasonable. Building a border wall, which was just a huge waste of money and doesn't doesn't seem to help at all is reasonable uh giving more power to corporations and more tax cuts to them is reasonable right exactly so he made it easy for them by not being clear yeah. and sometimes going on a twitter tirade right so if somebody can come in and not do that if if trump would have just been nice then everything would be fine no <laughs> no god no we just had a nice fascist then everything would be fine right I I'm think thinking of running for back. office. I never thought about running for office. I have thought about it. Honestly, what would you point, run for? Uh, Is that maybe governor of Michigan. Ooh, oh, I'm down. You should. Or, or, maybe, for you know what, or maybe mayor. Politically. Or maybe mayor of some town in Michigan. Okay. Some place I could actually make a difference. And here's yeah. what I, I would just listen. Release the Vox attack video. Be like, you know, be like the be like, uh, yep, eight mile rabbit. Yep. You know, <laughs> tell them something they don't know about me. But yeah. the only reason I would do it is because what I am most afraid of. And you know, what, we can we can leave on this unless you have a chat that you think we need to hit. What I am most afraid of going forward with someone like Donald Trump. And I know Donald Trump is is, is an. This is so hard to. Like, it's really hard to put together what they're trying to say because they just ramble on and on and on. And I know that Donald Trump was in it for his own self-interest to some capacity, but he also stood a lot to lose, right? <laughs> Donald Trump stood a lot to lose for being the president? The most powerful person in the country, arguably. He stood a lot to lose to taking that position? Literal brain worms. Literal brain worms. Yeah. He came from the private sector. He was an outsider, and that was a huge component. <clears throat> he was an outsider in that he didn't do politics. He was definitely just another capitalist. He was just another capitalist who wanted to give more money to his friends and, corpor and his friends' corporations. He was not an outsider. The only thing that made him an outsider was like, I don't do politics, and I'm... I'm just going to be crass and I don't give a fuck. Yeah, he was literally a household name for 30 years. Exactly. He was a capitalist for a long time, born into a rich family. Like, he was not some kind of outsider looking to help the little man. To the vitriolic hatred that he experienced. Yeah. And I am afraid <laughs> that because of Donald Trump being held, his scalp being, you know, hung up there, basically, not only Donald Trump, but they want to crucify anyone who supported yeah. Donald Trump. Yep. We want to literally crucify anyone who supports Donald Trump in Minecraft, in Minecraft, of course, not, not for real, but in Minecraft, 
who want to crucify anyone who supports Donald Trump. Yes, they should be crucified uh, in, in Minecraft. Yep, that's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. No, it's because <laughs> it, here's the problem. Here's the problem. The, he's saying it like Trump just had like differing opinions. He was like, well, I think we um, shouldn't start new war or like some like small disagreements. But no, it was like, I don't think trans people are um, people. They should not be allowed to be part of the army because they're trans or no, I do not respect women. I think Mexicans are rapists and, and crooks and they should not come into the country because they're rap rapists and crooks. Um, Muslims are bad and I'm going to ban them from coming to the country because they're bad. Like, these are not like just opinions. These are just like, this is racism. And he, he acted racist and bigoted policies. And he got a lot of flack for it, which he should. And if you support Trump, even if like, whether you believe in that stuff or not, you nonetheless were complicit in it. And saying like these people are like this or these people are like that, like that's just bigotry. And people who support him are like, yeah, that's cool. Or yeah, I'm okay with that. And that's not good. That's not good. And um, because, <laughs> because of that, people get, you know, pushback from other people. But they're making it sound like Donald Trump is the victim here. Like he gave up so much and then he gave up so much and then they were mean to him on twitter.com and to his followers on twitter.com and now it's literally 1976 george orwin no one can say anything anymore like like the folk like the uh, the slave revolt in spartacus along the road just to let you know what happens if you yeah. support an outsider I what wait what the fuck what Donald Trump being held, his scalp being, you know, hung up there. Basically, not only Donald Trump, but they want to crucify anyone who supported yeah. Donald Trump, like, like the folk, like the uh, the slave revolt in Spartacus along the road, just to let you know what oh, happened. He's talking yeah. about the movie Spartacus. I was like, what is he talking about? <laughs> uh, all right. Or an outsider. I am so concerned now, especially in the era of social media, where everyone has stuff out there that can be used against them, that people, good like him, people, we're gonna who actually that. want to change the country for good, <laughs> will be afraid to run because they know their lives will be destroyed, their reputation will be destroyed. Well, see, this good people thing is the one thing that I'm going to push back against, because if you're like, I don't know, let's say Marjorie Taylor Greene who is now purporting that, you know, COVID is fake, uh, cancel culture, and that uh, the forest fires in California were caused by Jewish space lasers, then maybe, maybe your reputation should take a hit because you're saying that the forest fires in California are caused by Jewish space lasers. Like, these are not just random little thoughts that people have. These are actual harmful things that people in positions of power say and enable others to do. He's talking about it like, oh, he decided to eat an apple instead of a banana and everyone is canceling him before, because, because of it. No, that's not what happened. Real consequential systemic problems happened. And like, he's like, but you can't say meanie bobini things to the racists and the KKK people. Yes, I can. Fuck them. I don't care what they, they think. If they want to rehabilitate themselves, super cool. If they don't, they can suck my entire cock. I don't give a fuck. Their families will be dragged through the mud because of the elite political system, the ruling class in Washington, D.C. And so the only people who will continue to live in that swamp are the direct beneficiaries of nepotism or being given a free path so long as they play along to get along. And so the only reason I would ever consider, and this is why I'm actually considering running, is because I have nothing to lose. I've made a lot of mistakes. My flaws are open on uh, for, for everyone to see. Wait, 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 wait. So first he was saying that it's not good that people's stuff is out there. So that if they run for office, then, you know, everything's out there. But now he's saying that he's going to run because all of his mistakes are out there and it's okay. So which one is it? Is it good that your mistakes are out there and so everyone can see who you are? Or is it a bad thing because your stuff's out there and you're going to get canceled? Which one is it? I, I'm not quite sure which one it is right now. 
full display. And you know what? I don't want people to feel like there is the government who rules over them. The government is meant to be ruled by people who oh, represent you. It's meant to be ruled by people like you. And I don't just mean Ivy League educated Harvard grads and lawyers and think tank, uh, think tank elites. I mean, small business owners. I mean, people out there yeah, who small maybe, owner. maybe you run the mythical small business owner. Conservatives love the small business owner. They love them. <laughs> They have no legs to stand on if they're honest about their position. Oh, yeah, absolutely. On a construction company, I want all of those folks out there to feel as though they can represent their constituents without fear of having their life being destroyed. And that is what I am most worried about with the fallout and the public crucifixion of anyone, including a lot of good Americans who love their country and supporting Donald Trump. And that's the only reason I have ever or would ever consider running for an office where I felt I could make a quantifiable difference and I'd have to give all of this up. But you guys let me know what you think. It's not something that's on the near horizon, but it's something that's been percolating. Jesus Christ. He's a f he speaks so much that he says so little. But hey, now we're going to get to the good shit. Like that would be significant, as opposed to just giving people a few hundred dollars here and there, talking about universal yeah. uh, income, Yang Chang Gang, oh, Yang yeah. Wang Chang <laughs> Tang tonight. You could actually just allow people to work like that. Wow, okay. All right. Wow. Wow. That's like such, that's a, like a level of racism that you expected in the 90s. In the 90s, you'll be like, it's kind of making me uncomfortable. Uh, but he's kind of my friend, but now you're like, what are you doing? You can't say, you can't do, you can't do Ching Chong jokes. Like, they're so racist. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, look, Steven Crowder, um, in January, calling all patriots to disobey. Ooh, ooh, look at him. Look at Steven Crowder. Calling all patriots to disobey while holding an assault rifle. Oh, here it is. Yes, I found it. Thank you, Rational Disconnect. This is one of the things that he has done on his show. Like, I can't begin to describe how insanely racist this is. And this guy's like, I think I might run for office. I think I might run for office. And then, you know, the joke that they did is like, no, 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 it doesn't say the F slur. It says figs because that thing over there is a fig. And this was specifically done to harass Carlos Maza, who is a leftist uh, content creator. He, he specifically made this shirt to harass him. Like, this was done very, very specifically. <laughs> Lauren Southern, uh, white nationalist on, on his, his show. So, you know, fun stuff. <laughs> what concerns you most about the way media covers mass shootings and gun control? Blatant lies, lies by omission, or... That one. Remember, when you make a Twitter poll, you get to decide the possible answers that people can give. So Steven Crowder, or whoever runs his account, I don't know, maybe he doesn't run it himself, uh, decided that these were the th three things that I'm going to write. So... This person is like, I think I might run for office. All my mistakes are out there. Oh, yeah. Oh, they're out there. Oh, oh, they're out there. Oh. Oh, they are out there. Some more good stuff. If a feminist is raped in the forest and no one is around to hear it, is she still heinously unattractive? Really cool. Really cool rape joke. Thanks, dude. Feminists get furious with unrealistic magazine standards of beauty. Unless it's the tea slur. <laughs> Best Halloween costume idea. Slutty Greta Thunberg. I would like to remind you... At the time of posting, um, this was like a year or two ago, Greta was still underage, so really, really cool. And this person is like, I might run for office. But yeah, Steven Crowder is an, is an idiot, a racist, homophobe, transphobe. If he ever runs for office, remember this shit and plaster it. I cannot wait for him to run for office and his opponent doing attack ads filled with this shit. Like, filled with this stuff. Him going ching-chong and all this racist shit that he has done. 
and just getting fucked so hard. Mm. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please do like and subscribe down there. That would help me out a lot. Also, I stream every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 5 p.m. on twitch.tv slash funwithfondue show. If you have any questions, feel free to drop in on the stream and come hang out with us. Link to that also down there. And lastly, I have a Patreon, patreon.com slash funwithfondue. If you want to support me monetarily and get, get access to some exclusive stuff, you can also get a link to that down there. Hope you have a good one. See you in the next video.